Today I'm going to show you how to make this super simple, double-sided, hello summer, hello sunshine, door tag, using just a couple stencils and making my own chalk paste with Coco's Chalky Powder. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. The first thing I did was prep my board. So I got this tag from Hobby Lobby and it looked like this. It had the word wash on it and I didn't want that. I want to put my own artwork on it. So I just took some sandpaper and sanded this down and then added a few coats of chalk paint. And then in between coats of chalk paint, I just sand with 220 sandpaper to give me a really nice smooth finish and get rid of all of my brush strokes. So now I have a smooth surface that is ready for my stencil design. All right, the next thing I did was make my stencil. So I just printed off my artwork and used my Icon Art exposure stand to expose my stencil and then wash it out. And I'll link a video in the description on a video that shows washing out stencils in detail and making your stencils. So now that my stencil is made, I'm ready to make my chalk paste. And I like making my own chalk paste because then I control the amount that I make and I don't have to have a bunch of jars laying around of a bunch of different colors that are just gonna dry out. I only make the amount I need for this one project and that's that. So today I'm going to be using Coco's Chalky Powder. This is available on our website and it is also now available at Hobby Lobby. So congratulations to Coco on that. And I love this powder. It works so good with our stencils. Basically the point of a chalk powder is to thicken up your paint. So I'm just going to be using regular <laughs> Anita's acrylic paint today for my sign and I just mix it in about a one-to-one -one ratio with the paint and then you thicken that up a little bit and it helps to prevent bleed underneath the lines of your stencil and it works really great. So today I'm actually going to be making six different colors so I wouldn't want to have to buy six different chalk pastes and all different colors just for this one project. So now I can just take my acrylic paint that I already have, mix it with my Coco's Chalky Powder and I have my own chalk paste. It's so easy to do. It doesn't take any time and uh, I just love it. All right, now that that is all mixed up, you can mix it any consistency you want. We are ready to stencil. I like to cut a little corner in my stencil. That way I know what way to put my stencil back on. We can also write the word back on the back of your clear sheet, or we also sell release sheets on our website. If you don't wanna use our clear backer sheets, um, we sell some white release sheets for the back of our stencils, and that's just after you're done using it to protect the adhesive. So just lining this up where I want it, and it is repositionable. So I'm just like trying to decide where I want it and then I'm going to layer the hello over the top like that. So that looks good. So I just rub it down to make sure there is no air pockets. And that's again why I sand my wood to make it super smooth so that my stencil is laying flat against my surface in all the areas. And then I'm ready to start stenciling with my chalk paste. So my first color is the pink. I'm going to be doing over here. So I just add a little bit of paste and then I take my squeegee and our squeegees come with all these different sides, so you, you can use the side that you need for your project. And all you want to do is make sure that you get your chalk paste in all of the mesh openings. And then I just remove it, the extra like that. And then chalk paste does dry super quick, so I just like to lift it up as I go along. So I'll just continue that with all of my colors. So as you can see, you barely need any chalk paste for a project like this. So if I wanted all these different colors, 
I would have to buy all these different chalk paste. It works so much better just being able to make my own for pennies and it works so good. And for this project, I just made my chalk paste in small amounts, but you don't have to. If you want to make a larger amount and save it, you can. Just put it in an airtight container and it will keep. You can use either our blue stencil film or our purple stencil film on wood, but I prefer, whenever I'm using chalk paste, I prefer to use the blue stencil film because it's a finer mesh and it won't show my mesh lines as much as the purple film might. So if you're having problems or you're seeing your mesh lines, maybe try the blue film instead of the purple. Or you can also mix your chalk paste so it is less thick. One other thing that I did want to mention about Coco's Chalky Powder is that you can use it to make both chalk paint or chalk paste. For this project, I mixed it with acrylic paint and you can see how beautiful it comes out with the stencils, but you can also mix it with latex paint and use it to paint your backgrounds or furniture. All right, now I can just go wash this out. Let that dry. I mean, chalk paste dries really fast, so I can layer the next one on top of it pretty quick. I'm just gonna go wash this out so I can reuse it. So I wash that out and then you just add the backing and it's okay if you can see some of the staining from the paint as long as there is no paste left in the openings you're fine and then I just match up my cut corner to my cut corner and add my background. I always want to make sure I add it to the correct side unless you're using the release sheets and now once this dries I can reuse it. All right, now I'm ready to add the word hello. I'll just put my little notch in my film, remove my backer, and I'm just overlapping it a little bit. You wanna make sure your stencil's completely dry, your paste is completely dry, everything is dry so that you don't lift up any of this paste with the adhesive on the stencil when you lift the stencil up. You could also seal your first layer with a clear sealer first if you'd want. And I'm just gonna make the word hello in black. So I'll just add my chalk paste to a few spots and then I'll take my squeegee and repeat the same process. So I'm just pulling my ink. I don't like to go over the same area too many times and I do like to just kind of stay in all one direction. That looks great. And now I'm going to repeat the exact same process for the second side of my sign. So I just washed my hello stencil so that I could use it on this side. And I'm going to just do a multicolor. If you're afraid of colors touching, you can also tape off the parts of your stencil that you don't want. But I'm basically just repeating the same thing I did on the front side. And it looks great. And then I'm going to use the hello stencil that I used on the front. I just want to make sure it's 100% dry. And again, I'm just overlapping on the word a little bit and making sure that where the stencil overlaps that it is pressed down really well. And then I'll use my chalk paste to repeat what I did on the front side and that's it. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, this came together really quickly. I did add this design to our free artwork page on our website. So if you wanna follow along with this project, you can download the design and make your stencils and make your own summer double-sided door tag. If you want to see more ideas on how to use your Icon Art custom stencil making kit, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so that you can get notified every time we upload. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And you can even like, and when I'm like, and So I got this at Hobby Lobby, but you could also make it pretty easily. So just have a board, cut some notches in it, drill a hole, and you have a tag, door tag. So pretty simple.